guys, welcome to Martalino. Hi, my name is Shati, and in this video, we are going to talk about arithmetic sequence. The particular sequence that we are going to discuss today is the arithmetic sequence. As we all know, almost everything around us is composed of patterns. And through these patterns, we can identify sequences. The particular sequence that we are going to discuss today is the arithmetic sequence. But before we start, can you guess the next term in the sequence? 3, 7, 11, and 15. Yes, you guess it. It's 19. So how did you find it? Did you notice that there was a constant interval between the numbers? The constant interval is also called the common difference. In this example, we have 4 as the common difference of the sequence. So you may ask, how did we get 4? So for us to get the common difference, we follow the formula d is equal to a sub n minus a sub n minus 1. Or simply, a sub 2 minus a sub 1. Or a sub 3 minus a sub 2. Let's start with the definition of an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers whose difference is constant. In this type of sequence, we also use the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d, wherein a sub n is the n term, is equal to a sub 1, the first term, plus n, which is the number of terms, minus 1, multiplied by d, wherein d is the common difference. Let's have this example. Find the a term of the sequence 10, 6, 2. As we can see, the terms are arranged in a descending order, which implies that the common difference should be negative. For the formulas that we'll use to solve for the a term, we have the formula for the common difference d is equal to a sub n minus a sub n minus 1. And of course, we wouldn't want to just keep adding the common difference to get a term, because that will take a long time. Instead, we can use the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Now that we have the formulas, let's try to substitute the values to solve for the a term. For the common difference, we have d is equal to 6 or the second term minus 10, the first term, which will be equal to negative 4. If you do the same thing and subtract 6 from 2, you will also get negative 4. Therefore, the common difference of d sequence is negative 4. Now that we have the common difference, we can now solve for the a term. We have the formula a sub n, or the n term that we are looking for, is equal to a sub 1, which is the first term, plus n, which is the number of terms, minus 1, multiplied by t, which is the common difference. Since we are looking for the a term, we will be having a sub 8 is equal to 10, the first term, plus 8 minus 1, which is the number of terms multiplied by the common difference, which is negative 4. We will then get a sub 8 is equal to 10 plus 7 multiplied by negative 4. Then we will have a sub 8 is equal to 10 plus negative 28. 10 plus negative 28 is equal to negative 18. Therefore, a sub 8 is equal to negative 18. Let's try another example. Find two arithmetic means between 6 and 27. We have no idea what the common difference is, so in order for us to get it, we substitute the values that we have to get the common difference. 27, our n term, is equal to 6, the first term, plus we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms in this sequence, minus 1 multiplied by d, which is the value we are looking for. Let's start solving. 
27 is equal to 6 plus 3D. We add negative 6 to both sides, so we will get 21 is equal to 3D. Now we want to isolate D in order for us to get its value, so we divide both sides by 3. Therefore, the common difference of the sequence is 7. In order for us to get the term after 6, we add 7 to 6. Therefore, a sub 2 is equal to 13. We do the same thing to get the term after 13. We have to add 7, then we get 20. Therefore, a sub 3 is equal to 20. In conclusion, we have 13 and 20 as the arithmetic means between 6 and 27. Let's have one more example. Find the next three terms in the sequence 1 over 6, 1 half, 5 over 6, and 7 over 6. First, we have to get the common difference between the terms. So we use the formula d is equal to a sub n minus a sub n minus 1. Therefore, d is equal to 1 half minus 1 over 6. We get the LCD or the least common denominator, which is 6, divided by denominators and multiply it to the numerators. So we get D is equal to 3 over 6 minus 1 over 6. We then get 2 over 6 or in simplified form, the common difference is 1 over 3. Now that we have the common difference, we add it to the last term given to get the other 3 succeeding terms. We will then get a sub 5 is equal to 7 over 6 plus 1 third, then we get the LCD. And we will end up having a sub 5 is equal to 3 over 2 or 1 and 1 half. We repeat the process until we have the 3 succeeding terms. Therefore, the 3 succeeding terms of the sequence 1 over 6, 1 half, 5 over 6, and 7 over 6 are 3 over 2, 11 over 6, and 13 over 6. Now that we know the definition and the formulas for an arithmetic sequence and how to deal with it, let's apply it in real life. A chicken filet meal is the greatest thing you will ever taste in your entire life. The chicken filet meal from the canteen has been Catherine's favorite food for lunch for four years already. The problem is, its price gets higher and higher every year. Catherine wants to know how much will a chicken filet cost in the succeeding year so that she will be able to include it in her calculations for budgeting her allowance for the next year. When Catherine was in grade 7, a chicken filet meal would cost 45 pesos. When she reached grade 8, it increased to 50 pesos. When she was in grade 9, a meal would cost 55 pesos. And now that she is in grade 10, a chicken filet meal costs 60 pesos. How much will a chicken filet meal cost when Catherine reaches grade 11? So we have the sequence 45 pesos, 50 pesos, 55 pesos, and 60 pesos. Now that we want to find the price of a chicken filet meal for the succeeding year, we simply find the difference between the prices. We use the formula D is equal to A sub N minus A sub N minus 1. We then get D is equal to 50 minus 45. Therefore, the price of a chicken filet meal increases by 5 pesos every year. We simply add 5 pesos to the latest price of a chicken filet meal. We then get A sub 5 is equal to 60 pesos plus 5 pesos. Therefore, the price of a chicken filet meal when Catherine reaches grade 11 will be 65 pesos. I guess that's all for now, but you did good today. Just keep practicing so that you'll get better at it. Thank you all for watching Matalino. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on this video. Again, I'm Chelsea. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye!